In this episode, guys, of Chat Cats Fishing, I have a special guest named Dave who's going to be talking to you about pay lakes and how the pay lakes in and around the Cincinnati area have essentially destroyed the trophy class catfishing in the area and it's something that we all need to be aware of especially as we're fishing that fishing these days is just not about catching fish but really it's about preserving the fishing as well especially the trophy class fish that we catch so I'm going to go ahead and have Dave just talk about how the Ohio River has been affected with these Cincinnati Pay Lakes due to commercial fishermen and other people taking out trophy sized fish and stocking them in Pay Lakes for people to fish. So I want you to go ahead and just watch and listen as he talks because you'll learn something as I did when it comes to these Pay Lakes. So I want you to go ahead and talk a little bit about how hurt the Ohio River has been due to the Pay Lakes and how has it been affecting the last, I don't know, five to ten years? From 2009 to like 2012 and 13, the Ohio River was getting better and better with the size and numbers of catfish, blues, flatheads, and channels, but especially the blue cats. <clears throat> and we've seen this from just guys I know all the tournament fishermen, we have a lot of local tournaments mm -hmm. and local clubs. And winning weights just for a small local weekend tournament, you know, one night. Winning weight, it would take at least 80 to 90 pounds to place in the top three. Winning wow. weights were consistently around 100 pounds, sometimes 120, you know, but between 80 and 120 pounds. Commercial fishermen came in, mainly taking out the trophy fish. The ones that are putting their or taking out the gene pool out of the river Jeez. and selling them to pay lakes and the fishery just crashed uh, a few years ago uh, one of the uh, vince sadowski runs uh, southwest ohio catfish club he kept track and winning weights average for the year total weights for five fish was like 35 or 38 pounds total weight for five fish versus a few years before where it took around 100 pounds just to place in the money. You know, it shows you right there. And this is just these two pools around Cincinnati are two of the hardest hit by commercial fishermen. And all these fish that are wild fish that we pay our license fees to go protect the fishery, they're being taken out from Kentucky Ohio doesn't have commercial fishing, Indiana doesn't have commercial fishing, West Virginia doesn't have commercial fishing, only Kentucky allows commercial fishing. So all the commercial fishermen have the Kentucky licenses, get the fish out of the Ohio River, and then sell them to the Pay Lakes, which the majority of them are in Ohio. Jeez, man, that's just horrible. And it absolutely... That is horrendous. ...decimated the river. And I'm saying this with a grain of salt because I, for a couple of years, you know, kind of, I tried to play devil's advocate and say, oh, it can't just be because of the commercial fishing. But it just got worse and worse. And the only thing that really changed was the commercial fishermen had moved in with their hoop nets. They're not catching them on rod and reel or hook and line. They put their hoop nets in the river, especially during the spawn, and then take out all the trophy fish. And it takes years and years for those fish to grow to that size. And once you take them out, their gene pool is gone out of the river. Right. Guys, this is why it's important to always release the big fish back. Yeah, I mean, that's horrible. You think it'll ever change? We've been trying. They've got some regulations passed now where there's slot limits. The big problem is they don't have the enforcement. You know, there's so yeah. few wildlife officers or ones that can even have the time or the manpower to enforce the laws. So unfortunately, until we can get a complete ban on commercial fishing, I don't see things changing that much. There's a reason that people from Ohio travel down to fish the Tennessee River chain. There's mm -hmm. no commercial fishing on the majority of the Tennessee River chain. States like Tennessee ban commercial fishing, and they really do a wonderful job of their wildlife or division of wildlife versus some of the other states. 
West right. Virginia is another one that's very much like uh, Tennessee. And the quality of flatheads, and even the blues now, is mm -hmm. getting better and better and stronger and stronger because they have complete ban and they manage their resources so well. And if you see something on the river, just like they talk about with terrorism, if you see something, say something. Turn it in if it's something illegal. If you see hoop nets on the Ohio or Indiana sides, those are illegal. Call your local Division of Wildlife officer. Yeah. It does make a difference. Everybody needs to get involved. Especially as fishing is growing and more people are getting involved in it. And it's, guys, it's always important to, you know, know what you're getting yourself into. You know, learn the law, respect the law, obey it. And if you see someone doing something they're not supposed to, then make sure you report them. And guys, we're not saying that you're a bad person if you fish a pay lake. We're just trying to promote awareness over what has been happening with the trophy class fish on the Ohio River. And it's pretty sad uh, when you see a river system that's been almost wiped out of its trophy class fish. And catfish are the fish that are hit the hardest since they're the biggest in the river and they're at the top of the food chain. So it's just something for you guys to be thinking about as you're fishing. That fishing is just not about catching fish. It's also about preserving the trophy class fish. So I hope you guys learned something from this video as I did. If you have any questions, concerns, or comment, just leave one at the bottom of this video. And I'll be sure to get back with you on that. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. If you guys like that video, please be sure to check out some of our other videos here on the Chat Cats Fishing Channel. Please hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.